of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rope, Alderman Tobin. Here. Alderman Jean Francois. Alderman Johnson. Here. Alderman Ray. Here. Alderman Kleiner. Here. Alderman Green. Here. Alderman Witt. Here. Alderman Massey. Here. President Rodriguez. Here. Quorum is present. Approval of minutes. We have the minutes from February 6th, 20th, and March 5th. Got a motion by Alderman Massey. Do I have a second? Second. Alderman Witt. All in favor? Aye. 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 Correspondence. <clears throat> Good evening. We have one letter this evening. <clears throat> it reads, Mr. McCormick, President Rodriguez, esteemed members of the Common Council, I take this occasion through the power of the pen on behalf of the Greater Middletown community in support of Mayor DeStefano's and Alderman Massey's call to legislative Sierra to either step up to his legislative duties or step down. I recently addressed this when I spoke in the March session of the county legislator as follows. There is a time and season for everything, and I think it's time the constituents of District 20 regain a voice in this county legislator. <clears throat> this is not a light matter. This is in fulfillment of what so many pe men and women have given their lives for in the battlefields for those words, we the people. They mean as much in the Constitution as they mean here. Our community will forever be grateful to Democratic leader Paduke as well as Miss Sutherland representative. One who will become one who will be constructively engaged with the rest of the members of this body who will offer constructive criticism when called for or respectfully dissent when necessary. It is my hope that this legislative body will review the county code. I had a chance to look at it myself. I know there is a process, but we do have a de facto vacancy and this should never happen again to no constituents in Orange County nor anywhere in our country or county. We deserve a voice and I hope that will be addressed, whether it be in the near future that the current office holder come up to the plate and do what is right or through the electoral process that we will have someone who will be an advocate for our community and do it with compassion, conviction, heart and soul. So with this, I say we the people, the residents of this of Middletown's County Legislature District 20 voice and vote must be known and heard and deprived by no man anymore. Yours truly, Kevin Gomez. OK, received the file. Remarks of the mayor. Oh, I'm sorry. I, for the good of the city. I'm sorry. For the good of the city, anyone would like to address the council, please step forward. Good evening, council, mayor, Just Mike. and all the, all the wonderful people of Middletown. Uh, my name is Susan DePew. Um, Many of you know me because I show up with a green shirt every year. And we are here again, uh, going to have a cleanup day for all of Middletown. It'll be Saturday, this coming Saturday, from 9 to 12, um, Saturday the 20th. All are welcome, adults, children, grandparents, little kids, everybody is, and you can choose where you'd like to clean up. Come up to Middletown, the, the new park is Erie Way Park Pavilion. We ask that you come early. Um, it'll be from nine till 12. Um, there is a sign on the corner that says Union and West Main Street, if you're not sure where the, um, the Erie Way Park is, but it's the new pavilion. So you'll wear a t-shirt to identify you. We will give you the gear, um, bags and pickers to gather the goods, put them away in a bag, and leave them on a corner. We will give you directions when you come. We're um, excited that you'll join us, and we hope you come early and stay late till 12. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Remarks to the mayor? <clears throat> yes, good evening. I just want to join with Sue in encouraging the public to come out. I know at this point, I believe we have well over 100 people signed up already, and we anticipate some additional groups signing up. So it'll be a good day, and um, you get to spend Saturday morning with Mr. Massey, too, because um, which is always a joy. And um, we'll uh, have some refreshments for the volunteers, and um, hopefully uh, we'll have a... a Good weather, which I believe it is supposed to be good weather on Saturday. So, uh, and I want to once again thank Sue. You know, we sort of call her the grandma of the uh, of the cleanup since 
uh, she used to tell the story about the pizza box, and that's how she got involved in it. And and uh, we uh, we appreciate all her efforts and and also your husband's efforts over the years too, because I know he was very much involved in a lot of the organiza organizing of the event. Uh, these past few weekends, we've had some activities. We had the Little League Parade um, uh, about two weeks ago. And parents, uh, I want to thank you for allowing your kids to participate in the Little League this year. Thank the sponsors, the many sponsors, and the volunteers, and, and of course, wish the kids a, a great season. I know Jerry probably has another story about he was in the original Little Leaguer, were you? In Middletown? I, I was not, but I know. You, I know, maybe Massey, though, I think was right around that time, too. My father was one of the, the organizers, correct? five people that started right. the Little League. So the, there's a, what I'm pointing out is there's a good history here in Middletown with, with the Little League in, in that um, it's only as good as the volunteers. And the parents, I, I was there tonight, my grandkids are playing in the T-ball, and you can see the, um, uh, how much attention the uh, volunteers are paying to, um, to everyone's kids that are participating. So it means a lot, and without, without that volunteerism, the league would not function. We also, this past um, Saturday, attended the Special Olympics held at the uh, Presidential Park School. This is the second year that Middletown has hosted them. They had teams from all over the area, from within the county. I think Eldred, New York, Marlboro participated. Alderman Witt was there also. Um, the opening ceremonies were great. Middletown being the host community, we led the, um, uh, the group in with the torch, and uh, it was a great time by many of the young kids involved in it. And I believe next year the Special Olympics are moving to Goshen, if I'm like, right. so. Uh, again, an all-volunteer event uh, coordinated through the school superintendent, Amy, Amy Creedon, and her uh, staff mostly, but I think there were other parents involved too in the, in the, volunteer, the um, volunteerism of the, of the event. And, and just to see the smile on the kid's face was, it was great. This coming Saturday, the Middletown Garden Lovers Club will be celebrating 100 years uh, in, in business as a volunteer group in the city. And as you know, they do a lot of the decoration at Thrall Park around the monuments. And um, so we are gonna acknowledge their 100 years of, of dedication to the community. Hopefully we'll start posting some stuff on our website, giving their history. Jerry did turn over some of the history of the Garden Lovers Club. You'll recognize a lot of the, a lot of the names going back to uh, Middletown's um, uh, big families back in the Morrisons and the people that were involved in the formation of the Middletown Gardens, Garden Lovers Club. So that'll be this Saturday, and, and we will, as I said, start putting information up on our, on our website. Uh, just a couple of resolutions tonight that I'm sure you will be supporting. We've discussed the O&W project. The bids are back, are due back on April 30th. Uh, we are now bonding um, the gap financing that's required before the tax credits. That is one resolution that we have tonight. And we are also, um, rejecting, you have a resolution to reject the bids for the prior uh, bid that was done about a year and a half. That's just a pro uh, uh, part of the process that we had to reject the old ones before we can accept new ones. And uh, the one other was the, oh, the authorization to hold the public hearing for the subdivision on the MN and J uh, railroad at the corner of railroad in East Main. We will be purchasing that with state grant money uh, through a sum of and Gunther. Uh, we need to subdivide the property off, and we do plan on, we have good plans for that, including doing some RFPs for some creative economic development, along with a welcoming, welcoming center for people um, along the trail usage. And that's all I have. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to address any questions for the mayor. Thank you. All right. Remarks of the department heads. Let's start with economic <clears throat> development. Good evening, everyone. We're gearing up for our spring uh, downtown. Next week, we'll be releasing the summer concert series uh, lineup. And I'm pleased to say this year, we're going to kick it off with the uh, school district. They're going to be performing the first Thursday and the first Friday of the series. So stay tuned for that announcement next week. Also, our farmer's market, Cinco de Mayo celebration, uh, more stuff at the Paramount, more concerts. Uh, 
middletownparamount.com, also middletownbid.org for all the uh, downtown activities, um, community development, continuing uh, rehabs with our rehab program and small business loan programs. And that's all I have for tonight. Any questions for Maria? Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Recreation. Good evening, everyone. Uh, just wanted to thank the police department uh, for the extra patrol that we've had at the dog park recently. Um, we had uh, especially the um, the animal control officer who's been very helpful recently with we had a fox issue over there and a lot of un dogs that are going after other dogs and animal control has been very helpful and just a constant patrol of the Middletown Police Department has also been very helpful in that parking lot getting um, rid of a lot of the cars that are sitting there just parking and sitting there all day so thank you to the Police Department uh, we are going to be meeting with a gentleman named Ryan Yasika in Bike Wave Middletown to look into possibly creating some mountain biking trails in the reservoir, um, in addition to the hiking trails that we have, but also the possibility of designating a trail just for mountain biking. Um, our new classes that we just offered, the music, uh, the art programming, and the sign, lang sign language class took off great. Uh, we are looking forward to rolling those out again at the end of spring. And we are currently looking for a health director for our summer camp. So if you know anybody interested, from a, a physician's assistant to an EMT, they just need the New York State licensing. So it's on our Facebook page. So if you could please share that so we can um, submit our permits because we can't submit the permit without having a health director. Um, listed so please help share that post so we can start interviewing for that health director position any questions any question thank right, you thank you police department good evening uh, this past week on uh, April 11th the department made an arrest um, in the 2019 uh, homicide that occurred on Knapp Avenue our victim in that was Sebastian Avila and Medina. Um, amazing work by the detective division, the law enforcement partners and colleagues. Uh, it's, this is just a testament of not just the work of the organization, but the commitment that we don't let things just sit and go stale. Um, they've been working on it for, you know, since that time that it occurred in March of 2019. And with new technology, some new information, they were able to make um, some significant strides. We still have a lot of work to go with it. Um, and we're hopeful that we'll, uh, we'll make some more headway here in the very near future. Um, but I just really want to recognize uh, Detective Andrew Rosen. He was the lead behind this, and he's been you know, pushing this uh, from the moment he became a detective. So I really appreciate his efforts along with all the other detectives that worked with us and all the other organizations. And we're very hopeful that we can bring the Avalon Medina family some closure um, for their loss and uh, hopefully hold, hold some uh, people accountable for this. So. Other than that, I have nothing unless you have questions for me. Any questions for the police chief? Thank you, chief. <clears throat> Fire chief. Good evening. I hope everyone received our invitations to our annual dinner and you guys can attend. Should be a good night. Um, this will be for the awards for our, 20, our 2023 recipients. Um, it's going to be held at the town of Walk Hill on uh, the golf course on May 4th from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. So I hope you can see everybody there. Um, this year, we're up a little bit. We're up about 21% from last year. As of this time, we're at uh, 328 with the call we just had on Orchard uh, Stove Fire. So, you know, it's um, we're busy, you know. Um, so uh, it just seems like this is the times that, come, um, that are coming. Um, Number three, um, we took in one new member this month, um, and it's great to say that it was um, Alderman Tol uh, Tobin's son, Noah. Um, he joined um, Engine 2, so we're excited to get him involved and uh, get him going in the company and in the department and get him up to speed. Uh, we also participated this past weekend in the Orange County um, Elementary um, 
Special Olympics, we held the uh, the flag with Mechanics Town. They helped us out like they always do, and we appreciate their help. It's a great. It was a great time. We've done it now for the last two years, also. Um, it's sad to see that it's leaving Middletown and going to Goshen, but I know they transfer it every couple of years. Um, we will be participating in the multi uh, multicultural night at MHS on the 26th. We'll have a table set up and uh, some kind of recruitment and fire prevention will be going on. And on 427, myself and Alderman Green are heading up. Um, that day he takes off his Alderman hat and he puts on his department secretary hat. But we're heading up to um, Albany for the um, Life Safety Educator Conference um, that we're both certified in. So it brings back some uh, good fire prevention material for us, whether it's for the you know kids or the um, you know the adults. But hopefully, we'll come up uh, with some good education material. That's all I have. All right. Any questions for the fire chief? Thank you, chief. DPW. Good evening, all. So we'll start off with the um, water flushing system, just to warn the residents uh, to look in the water, examine it before you do any laundry, please, so you will not have any staining. Uh, to that effect, uh, the water department finished the second, third, and first ward. They were done today. And what's remaining is the fourth ward. So from tomorrow, tomorrow until the rest of the week, hopefully will be done with the fourth ward or the following week. So again, just <clears throat> check out your, uh, your water before you do any laundry, please. Um, spring cleanup, we have done fourth ward, third ward, and next week, well, tomorrow, hopefully, tomorrow will be done with the third ward, and then we'll go the following week to the second ward, and then we'll end up with the f first ward with the uh, spring cleanup. And um, again, just, just reminding our residents, if you see an illegal dumping coming from outside the city, please call DPW or the police department, especially after, our, after hours, the police department, because that's, uh, it adds a lot of cost to us to get rid of this material, especially if it's coming from out of town. So just keep your eyes open. You don't have to confront them. Just call us or call the police, and hopefully we can handle it. Um, Water storage tanks projects, uh, Mountain Avenue and uh, High Barney uh, tanks, they are moving along. Uh, again, we continue to finalize the project for the uh, uh, Highland Avenue tank. So High Barney and Mountain Avenue, they're under construction right now using pre-stressed concrete uh, tanks. We never had those in, in the city of Middletown. We're going to have two of them now to replace the old steel tanks, and hopefully they will last for a generation for a long time. Tomorrow there's gonna to be a public information session for the Heritage Trail for segment three at six o'clock here in the, in the council chambers. Please visit our website tomorrow before you come in, just in case if there is any update, but the latest information that I have is it's for tomorrow, uh, six o'clock from six to eight o'clock. And it's an informational session and just discussion about what the Heritage Trail segment three, which is from West Main Street all the way to Ingracia Road, going through Davidge Park. We welcome everybody's participation, asking questions and, and uh, discussing the project. Also, we do have um, three RFQs, requests for uh, qualifications from engineering firms for um, two finished water lines from the water treatment plant down to Manhagen and Highland. And um, one is uh, finished completing from uh, Manhagen Avenue uh, going up Highland. That's another pressure system. And the third RFQ is for raw water lines coming from Kench down to uh, towards uh, Shawangan. So we're going to be doing as much as we can with the money available for us. Most of them are grants except for the water, uh, raw water lines. We have a grant, $5 million with the 40% 40, 40 match. Um, traffic operations, as you can see, the project is moving along now. They're, in, in, uh, they're moving, uh, going everywhere, trying to finish it this year, hopefully. And um, there's gonna be some disruption to the traffic, so just please pay attention to the workers, pay, at pay attention to the cones and their respect them and give them room. They're doing that to improve our city. They're not there just you know, to, to give us hard time when we are driving, so please be courteous. Listen to them and work with them with the flagman. 
And with that, I will conclude. Do you have any questions? Any questions for Jacob? Alderman Kleiner. Yeah, I just wanted to say I'm going to introduce a resolution at, at the end, but uh, to remove the handicapped parking spot um, that was used by uh, Armando the tailor and his wife, Albina, and they both unfortunately have passed away this year. I just wanted to be clear that you okayed it. Yes, I'm in total support about. of it, yes. It's, uh, yes, if the council decides to take it down, we'll take it down tomorrow <coughs> once they vote on it, yes. Okay. Absolutely. I'm Alderman total. John Francois normally would do this, but he's not here tonight. So. Yeah, he's, he's sick, so otherwise he, wanted, you know, he would have been here, but he's not feeling good. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yes, Alderman Tobin? Just had, I had a question from a constituent. The, uh, they were interested, the, the bridge, uh, there's, there d might do something with the bridge on Janung Street, if there's a grant. Uh, does that include daylighting that, uh, the culvert there? No, the bridge, no. The bridge is, is uh, it's basically over the Manhagen Brook, and oh. that is part of Janung. It's right at the intersection of uh, Spro uh, Sprague. Sprague, thank you, Sprague <laughs> and Sprague. Sprague and Janung. There's that, uh, you can see the, the, the daylight, you know, uh, the brook coming out, the Manhagen Brook. And that's really Manhagen and the Draper Brook together coming out from that area. It's not daylighting, it's, it's, the, uh, it's, it's just replacing that bridge. We keep applying for grants, and so far we have not received anything. Did you see uh, something to say that we received the grant? No, he, he heard about it, but he just wasn't sure. Oh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We've been applying for Bridge New York, we've been applying... We're going to apply for, for uh, DOT now for grants for that and some other places too to improve the Manhagen Brook that goes underground. There's a daylighting, which is the mayor spoke about, is in the, in the uh, Thrall Park. That's another project we're waiting for a proposal from an engineering firm to give us a design for daylighting. That will be the Draper Brook through the, uh, through the uh, Thrall Park. Thank you. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, anyone else? Thank you, Jacob. Yes, thank you. City Clerk. Good evening. Um, I know some people have uh, expressed some concern about not being able to receive Channel 20 on their home um, televisions. Um, obviously, if you, you're not seeing this, you're not going to hear this, but if you could tell your friends and neighbors, uh, we have a survey on our website right now. We need to identify those homes uh, that are not receiving the channel to try to figure out what the source of the problem is. Eileen and myself have been working closely with uh, Spectrum trying to resolve it. Uh, but this is the next step in the process. Uh, so it's on our website, take a look. Uh, the citywide yard sale was approved at our last city council meeting uh, for the first weekend in June to coincide with the opening of the farmer's market this year. Uh, the application and the sign up form will be live on the website tomorrow. Uh, please sign up. And once again, I just wanna extend my thanks to Sue Depew for being the champion of our spring cleanup each year. Uh, we're looking forward to it this year. Hopefully the weather will be um, as favorable as it was today for us and we'll have a great event. Thank okay, you. Any questions for the city clerk? All right, thank you. Remarks of the department head, uh, Alderman. Alderman Tobin? Uh, I just want to thank, thank uh, Susan DePew for the cleanup. This is the first one I've missed in a long time. I actually have a commitment in Newburgh at the same time, but uh, thanks for all you do in keeping our city clean and reminding everybody just a little bit, you know, it goes a long way. And uh, encouraging that volunteerism because I see it all over I mean at the Special Olympics there's a lot of volunteers the, the youth the schools really get involved it's, so it's a really nice thing to see and it's one of the reasons why I joined the Lions Club because I like helping out and you know helping your community it's very rewarding I think there's a lot of it in Middletown so it's very good Alderman Johnson thanks um, so there's a there's a group called Mohun consultations and they coordinate a forum every year during Earth Day weekend I would say it's not for everybody. Last year, I went out of curiosity, and they really focused a lot on the Lakota, Na Lakota Nation, which was the Indian tribe that was there when, as they described it, the big ships came. This year's topic, once again, not for everybody, is exploring indigenous holocentric conscientiousness, living on Earth, living with Earth instead of on Earth. I'm positive there would be seats available if you chose three to six, Mohonk, <laughs> It's a great place. And um, if you like me, you learn a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alma Ray. Uh, good evening. Um, I will say that I attended the Little League Parade, had a great time, I always do. It was cold, again, <laughs> but we always survive. The kids have it worse. They're out there in those thin shirts and listening to us chat up on the stage, but um, looking forward to another great season. I'd like to thank all the volunteers who get involved and do this for their kids. It's definitely a big time investment. 
um, when you get involved in your kids' sports. So my many thanks to them. Um, last meeting, we honored Stefan Montry for his achievements here in wrestling in Middletown. And I just want to let everyone know that he went on to nationals and won. Oh, he is a national champion, great. and he represents this city in a beautiful way. Not only is he a tremendous athlete, but like a really great kid. So really proud of him. He definitely made us proud, so I just wanted to follow up on our last visit for that. As for the citywide cleanup, Sue, you changed the city. You know, it really, a lot of kids went to these and discovered that they never even saw the litter until they came to a cleanup. And uh, we talk about it often. Um, I won't be able to attend this year either. I have a lot of uh, kids in sports. I will have two of them here with their honor societies and their teams helping out, but I will be uh, helping out at a game for one of mine. So I will be missing and I apologize for that. But that is all I have tonight. Thanks for everyone does. Old McCliner. Um, thank you. Uh, we'll uh, agree on the little league parade. The banners were terrific. Uh, you know, in spite of the weather, it, it was a great time. Uh, I would add a little history if I were thanking anyone. I would thank Thomas Watts, who in his will uh, donated that land to the city of Middletown. And again, another, another Middletowner with a great sense of community. Um, <clears throat> I want to congratulate the police department on not giving up after five years uh, that, that their arrest in that case uh, and continuing and all the other agencies that helped them. Um, but Chief, congratulations to your department and, and uh, keep up the good work. Um, remind people that there is a Hillside, historic Hillside Cemetery tour and the information and the poster is on the website that's uh, set this Saturday, April 27th. Um, I want to wish our Jewish community friends a uh, good Passover. It's late this year, but it's for the next uh, week or so. Uh, and I uh, wish our Mexican community a very happy Cinco de Mayo celebration. Um, that's celebrated more here than it is in Mexico, but it's uh, the Battle of Puebla was very important to the North winning the Civil War, and I think that was important. So uh, we celebrate too. Um, 1864, the uh, Arizona law that just got, uh, really the Supreme Court said, yes, uh, that, that can be the law of the state. Um, so I wanted to point out one local law, speaking of history, in 1866, the state of New York passed a law providing Middletown the ability to take land and take property and provide water service to its constituents. And in 1879, there was an amendment to that law. And uh, the amendment was uh, for people who had claims against the water department and it said, and it's the part of the amendment said, and in case any of said owners cannot be found in this state, such notice shall be given to them by publishing the name for six weeks successively and two newspapers published in said county of Orange. And if any of said owners shall be married women, insane, infants or idiots, the said court shall appoint some suitable person to attend in their behalf before said commissioners and take care of their interests. So not every old law is a good law. And uh, I, I think uh, it's, it's, it's something to think about. Um, the record, uh, bless them, had a big story about gas prices went up again. They went up two cents, two cents. And of course, they didn't tell you until way down in the story that we're 6% lower than the national average here. Um, so tomorrow, you meant, as mentioned, is the uh, information session on the Heritage Trail. And there was something else going on tomorrow that I keep slipping. Oh, no, I know what it was. Tomorrow's my and Barbara's 40th wedding anniversary. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that'll be an easy date to remember. Thank you. <laughs> Alderman Green. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Sue, I look forward to being there on Saturday and, and seeing you and, and everyone out there. And it's always a great event, um, regardless of the weather. It's it's rained in the past. It's been sunny. It's been chilly. But it's it's always well attended. And the city always looks great right after. And uh, hopefully we'll continue, continue the tradition uh, through the years. Um, we have a couple people in the board. I know we're antsy. We have a lot of stuff to get rid of. But... Try and wait until Sunday to put out your, your bulk items uh, for pickup on the 22nd. So, uh, you know, I know that some of our neighboring streets are getting picked up right now, but uh, let's try and keep the, the sidewalks clear and, and, and the edge of the street uh, clean as well until the weekend. Um, I do want to thank um, the police chief. Chief Iwanshu will uh, be joining our constituents meeting on uh, May 13th. So. Uh, that's at 7 p.m. here in the council chambers, and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you. All the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you know, the, um, the things that we were talking about here, the Little League parade and, and Little League and the Special Olympics and the cleanup, I mean, it all comes down to the volunteerism, and a lot of it has to do with our young people getting involved, and it really... It's just a, a heck of a thing to just see, and, and I think these kids get as much out of it. They don't even realize it probably when they're going in that they do, um, you know, as, as when it's happening. And with, with Stefan Monsherry, he, he actually was chasing basketballs at the Special Olympics on Saturday. So and I wouldn't be surprised if he's out picking up garbage on, on this Saturday. So it's, it's, it's really good, and, and there was a group there from the NJROTC also at the Special Olympics who got got there after they um, saw the the honor flight crew go out uh, early in the morning that they got dressed up in their in their uniforms and and saw them off and and that was the the second thing I wanted to mention I wanted to acknowledge uh, Louis Ferrara longtime uh, first ward resident and um, along with his, his wife, uh, Marlene, who keep Alderman Massey and I on our toes on a regular basis. Uh, he had a chance to go down Saturday on this, um, on this honor flight. And uh, I, it's my understanding it's the, uh, the 32nd one. And um, he really, really had a good time with it. And he's, he's always still involved, even if you go to the American Legion for the functions that they have, he's on the, the color guard that they always they always do to start the ceremony so i'm glad he had a good time he's a good guy and um i just wanted to acknowledge that he had that opportunity thank you alderman massey a little history on the uh little league since it's been brought up <clears throat> i'm old but i think my memory is sufficient enough i believe it was around 1955 originally they they played their games at Hayes Field, which is right behind the Senior Center. Then it was moved up to Watts Park. The five people who put that together were, one was my father, George Massey, Father Forrester, Ike Helper, who had a uh, haberdashery store here in the city of Middletown, right on uh, West Main Street, Dr. Costco, who was a local physician, and Dr. Imholtz, was a, who was a local dentist. Uh, and yes, Joe, I was probably, I don't know if it was the first year, but within the first couple of years, I was on a team called the Giants. All right. Now for the <laughs> other stuff. 747 days absent from his elected duties while still collecting his full salary and benefits, and yet he can't even speak for himself. He needs an advocate who lives in the state of Florida to do his talking. That's shameful. I was asked by constituents of Joel Sierra's if the county has done anything to possibly correct this deplorable situation. I told them I do not know. One can only hope they do the right thing and get the good people of Middletown their rightful representation. Thank you. Okay, new business. Good evening. We have a resolution sponsored by <coughs> Alderman Massey authorizing the transfer of funds from the Water and Sewer General <coughs> Fund. Okay, resolution sponsored by Alderman Massey, seconded by Alderman Witt. Any discussion? Roll. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. 
Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Massey, authorizing the approval of a bond resolution for the ONW project estimated to cost $6 million. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Massey, second by Alderman Green. Any discussion? Rope. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Witt, authorizing the transfer of funds within the Community Development Department. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Witt, seconded by Alderman Tobin. Any discussion? Roll. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Green to reject the bids for the asbestos abatement for the ONW building. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Green, seconded by Alderman Tobin. Any discussion? Rose. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Kleiner authorizing an agreement with Ackerley and Hubble Appraisal Corp for an appraisal at 27 Academy Avenue. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Kleiner, second by Alderman Ray. Any discussion? Rose. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. A resolution sponsored by Alderman Ray authorizing the appointment of Kathleen Flessa to the Board of Assessment Review. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Ray, seconded by Alderman Tobin. Any discussion? Roll. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. A resolution sponsored by Alderman Tobin appointing Noah Tobin as a volunteer firefighter. <laughs> resolution by Alderman Tobin, second by Alderman Johnson. Any discussion? Hope we get an aye. Roll. <laughs> Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. Congratulations. A resolution sponsored by Alderman Tobin authorizing a public hearing on a proposed subdivision at Middletown and New Jersey Railroad, LLC. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Tobin, second by Alderman Massey. Any discussion? Roll. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. A resolution sponsored by Alderman Johnson authorizing the forgiveness of interest and penalties associated with the property at 810 Mercer Avenue. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Johnson, seconded by Alderman Tobin. Any discussion? Roll. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. Alderman Kleiner. Uh, thank you. I'd like to introduce a resolution to uh, authorize Middletown DPW to remove the handicapped parking signs on um, the westerly corner of Houston Avenue at the intersection with East Avenue. Second. A resolution sponsored by Alderman Kleiner, second by Alderman Johnson. Any discussion? Roll. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. Audit. Mr. President, I move the accounts be audited, the claims be adjusted, and the city treasurer be authorized to issue warrants for their payment. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Massey, second by Alderman Green. Roll. Tobin. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Klein, uh, Green. Aye. <laughs> Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. Move for adjournment. So moved. Second. Aye.